Hi. Um, I... I don't know. Um, today I want to try to paint on some tote bags I got. I originally just wanted to have one for myself that was black because usually they're white or cream colored. So I wanted a black one. And I decided to buy more and try to sell them because I thought uh, it would be a fun idea to paint on them and make something nice of them. Um, right now I am thinking of doing some hands, like draw some hands on them. I have uh, a white and black ones because guess why <laughs> uh, but yeah I got two white ones and one black one the black one I only got to mix it up with white in case I wanted gray because already the tote bags are black so I guess um, yeah that, that wouldn't show up <laughs> I'm also thinking of doing some sort of embroidery on them I've never embroidered anything ever so that will be interesting um, I'm especially uh, thinking of embroidering some flies but we'll see how that goes um, yeah that's basically it I had to wash the tote bags first and hang them uh, I did that last week and this weekend like it's sunday today i will try to paint on them i don't know if it's gonna take the whole day i don't know if it's gonna take more than that but we'll see i just hope uh, it's going to be interesting enough for you to watch um i can also show you what i'm wearing because some of you are interested in that um, okay so i'm wearing this dress it's um, black, but it kind of looks a bit bluish um, light. I don't know, it still bothers me because it's not completely black, like peach black. But it's this one, I got it from a vintage shop. Um, yeah, today I thought I would do some clownish makeup. <laughs> I want to show you two things actually. So, I recently got this pen. Let me show it to you. It's this one. It's cool because it's 0 0.2. And uh, if you don't know it about me, I really like drawing small drawings. And the fact that this is uh, so tiny, like the lid is so tiny, it's the coolest thing ever. Uh, I was I was eyeing this pen for like a year, and never got it because I wanted it to. I wanted to buy it only because um, I wanted to buy it only if I was hundred percent sure that I was going to draw. And since I always uh, was procrastinating and drawing I didn't want to buy it for myself but now that I've been drawing so much more like not eight times per year um, I thought it would be a good uh, idea to just gift it to myself I got it from money that I got from my shop from selling things uh, so that was also extremely cool just you know getting money from something you made and getting art supplies and the other thing I want to show you is something uh, that's probably one of the prettiest things I own um, I can show you like this it's this beautiful mouse someone made I will put her Instagram here um, she's extremely lovely I actually met her because she was following me and 
I don't know, I just fell in love with what she's making and this just screamed my name. I just really wanted it and she also put my name here. This is another day from what I filmed the first part. I basically want to film this so that there's some kind of voiceover on what I'm doing. Um, I thought it would be more nicer to watch that way. Uh, so yeah, um, if you're interested in doing something similar uh, or just interested in what I did, um, I'll tell you now. Uh, everything. First I sketched everything with a kind of um, white charcoal pencil I had from Faber-Castell and yeah the, the hand was um, I took it from something I uh, did a, a while ago so it was basically just redoing that without uh, too much detail uh, I can't tell you much about the title of this. I just wanted it to remind a vintage book where, like a children's book, mostly where they used to say a tale of and then a name of a character. What I found about the paint, uh, this is not actually, um, it's, it's not that I have a really good experience with them. It's the first time I tried them. I literally just bought them for this. Um, but I found that it's better if you lay... They are water-based, by the way. If you lay um, a really thin layer uh, of paint uh, that is uh, mixed with a lot of water, I guess, uh, like more than half the amount of paint uh, in water, and you just lay down as a sketch. You cannot erase it, by the way. So, uh, you just lay down uh, this first layer, just so the fabric um, hairs. Uh, how do you say it? I don't know. Just so it just lay da lays down. Because if you try to uh, make something really detailed, as I did, like the lettering, I want it to be extremely sharp uh, and all, then you should do that for sure because the small hairs that peek out from the fabric textile i don't know <laughs> um they're gonna uh it's going to be easier if you just lay them down first so this is gonna make them flat on the surface you want to paint on uh and it's gonna turn out pretty uh like ghosty like transparent uh, but <clears throat> then you're gonna add a more pigmented layer and it's gonna look even nicer and then you're gonna add the third layer that is out from the tube like first layer is with a lot of water then it's like one to one ratio and then it's just uh, paint from the tube this is what I found to be the easiest one it might take time but you can uh, show like a lot of details from that and make the lines pretty sharp. It dries extremely fast and uh, you also have to use a palette to put the paint on because if you leave the uh, actual jar of paint open it's gonna dry out so you just have to quickly open it, put some paint on, it, on that palette and then close it again. I used uh, just a plate. Um, I don't know, there's a lot of people who just buy those porcelain palettes that literally are like plates. I think it's better to just get a plate 
rather than pay a lot of money to just get this porcelain palette. Uh, at least if you don't have money, this is a really good option. Then I started embroidering and the embroidering process was frustrating, I guess. I tried to find flies embroidered, uh, flies in pictures anywhere. I did find some, but I didn't like them. So what I end up doing is searching a picture of a fly and then just tracing the um, sketch I had done with the white pa pastel or like charcoal, I don't know, um, thing and just, you know, tracing it around with the thread and it ended up looking good. The first one I did, I had to remove, uh, just take it off because it didn't look as good but then I kind of figured it out and from then I just started doing the same thing. Yeah, that's what I did. It ended up looking a lot cuter and nicer than I thought it would be, which is extremely good. <laughs> Uh, it took me a lot of time for both painting and embroidering but I guess if you do it a lot of times and you get used to it, it's gonna take a lot less like at least two hours uh, less than I did uh, I think the whole process of doing the bag took me about nine hours but it will probably be about seven if I... or maybe less, I don't know, it depends on how uh, quick you are. Uh, I just tend to focus a lot on the detail and just take hours to just do a line. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's that's how I like doing things, I guess. Then uh, I did the hand uh, with the same process as I said before with painting the three layers. Just first sketch, then a uh, bit thicker paint and then out from the tube and then um, what I had to do is basically just iron it you have to iron this paint uh, for sealing it um, you either just put uh, some sort of fabric on top and then iron it uh, for quite some minutes like one or three I don't know uh, or you just turn it around like inside out and just iron it that way and then I went and washed it you don't have to wash it but I wanted to wash it because I've put this uh, white pastel uh, on the lettering and everything and I wanted it to wash out I didn't want to give it somebody <laughs> just like that it's basically all I did by the time you will be watching this I will probably have it on my shop. It was fun doing it. Um, it was fun embroidering actually, like I liked it a lot. I would probably like to try embroidering some shirts, lacy white shirts or some kind of, I don't know, clothing that I thrift. That's gonna be really nice. I would totally do the flies again in some sort of clothing, but yeah, it, it was nice. Mm-hmm. <laughs>